you must have reached your limit since you are incompetent and have no useful skills. They just further demonstrate how I have no useful skills and no business being the protagonist of this video game. Evil spirit, you've done much evil deeds, except your death! Hello, this is the always, this is Legend of Certain Fairy 5 prequel. My brain has shut off. It is gone. Like, it is, it is, it is gone. Also, Nimenhal, just show you a I don't want to die. I'm just an innocent girl, please don't kill me, da 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 look, I could be so useful to you, I have powers, please don't kill me, I didn't really mean any harm. Mmm, very poetic. Mr. String instruments play in harmony, as if entangled in deep love. Even though you and I only spent time together in our imagination, my love to you is true. I think that was this. Yeah, this. Up, oh, up! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to click past that. Still trying to trick us with your smart words. Wait, brother Huang Fu. You're going to stop me. I mean, he does carry junior mints, uh, emergency junior mints in his locket, so he does have a. Uh, uh, bit of a soft spot for cold things. That was a terrible joke about mints. <laughs> but at least it built up from other terrible jokes I've made in this game. If she had kept it to herself, then it would be fine. But she didn't harm. She killed other people. She should take the punishment. Big young lord, don't fall for her honey trap. Miss Moo, it's not that. I. Huh? Ah! Why are you looking at me? Uh, nothing. Sorry for my impoliteness. Did you actually hurt the missing villagers? I mean, they were supposed to die, it's only because we got lucky that they didn't, but whatever. No, I didn't take their lives, I just froze them! Im ignore the fact that they were supposed to die, and only because you healed them did they not. Bullshit! They're frozen alive, can't talk or move, how is it different from death? Mister, I know that I did wrong. I just want to have a few companions. Dot, dot, dot. See, if she had the voice that I'm giving to her in the original game, then nobody would have any sympathy for her at all. Everyone, can we forgive her? No! No. <laughs> Sha -ho oh, wow, trying to do that in the Kermit voice. <clears throat> Sha <-ho -jin> -chuan. <laughs> you. <laughs> I can't do that. I cannot do that. How can you let the, this yokai get away with hurting people? Get out of my way. Young Lord Xiaohu, if we let her go, we can't guarantee that she will not hurt other people. Yeah, I gotta side with everybody who isn't a naive moron here. But she's already repenting. Oh, oh, the nuke went off again. Dang it, every time, every time we think we're making progress, a nuclear bomb goes off. What? This? I can't move! Damn this yokai woman! Great job ruining it, hero! 
I used a nuclear bomb on you. I found a treasure quite by accident some time ago, and my power increased very quickly. I can now suck people's souls to heal my essence. This power is heaven's blessing! How could I waste a power such as this? Why did I spend all that time doing that battle only for us to lose anyway? Humans think of themselves as smart, but they're very foolish. That, that was obviously, hmm? Oh, gee, somebody's there! They, she won't catch me if I move very slowly. How could I miss one? You're, it's too bad your sword doesn't do any cutting. It's just so it's a very blunt like it's a bat. It's a bat that vaguely looks like a sword. How 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 dare you hurt me? Dut dut dut. Oh, she's gonna use her nuke again. Am I going to die? No, I have things that I must do. I can't die here. If things are bad, I would have to abandon them and run away. Go die, human! Oh, she's using her nuke. Oh, no, she isn't. Oh, oh that, but no, somebody else used the nuke this time. Boy, our, our party just survived two nuclear blasts in rapid succession. How? <laughs> How can this be? Oh, well, yokai don't leave corpses. Oh, hi! Looks like I got here in the nick of time! Well, <laughs> can you join our party now? Because I could use not this loser. I'm sorry. They're covered in cornstarch. They won't live. They are indeed the missing villagers. What happened just now? Well, two nuclear bombs went off, and that was pretty extreme. And now it's nuclear winter, and this is all ash falling. May I ask, which senpai helped us? Please, show yourself! Which grand master? Huh? How secretive. Nobody? What killed the yokai just now must have been a sword wave. Which Illusion Queen clarifies is the chi from a sword. The chi blast and en 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 energy. Uh, for the Sword Appraisal Conference, the Master did invite apprentices from Shu Mountain. Their sword control skills are world famous. Maybe they happened to pass here and helped us. Xie would really have have us believe anything except that he's noble, helpful, or good. Young Lord Hongfu, let's take the villagers back to the manor. We'll clean off the cornstarch there. Mm. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> What the? Did that? What? What? <laughs> that was that was how a cat moves its paw. That was not a normal human motion. Hey, young Lord Xiao. Beautiful people are not always good people. Don't trust random women from now on. <laughs> Yeah, probably shouldn't have trusted you, for example, but whatever! Well, 
I mean, I can't imagine that piece of advice from Moo would be foreshadowing or anything. Nah. Removal of evil must be complete. The yokai woman will uh, hurt innocent people and she is unforgivable, but you are still tricked by her words. I am useless at everything. I've proven it time and time again. Brother Huangfu, I admit my mistake, but demonstrably have learned nothing from it. You better remember this lesson. Oh, hey, it's you losers. Welcome to the party. I, I can literally forgot you existed. Uh, two young lords, we did find the missing villagers. I see that you've constructed the missing villagers out of cornstarch to use to, to ask anybody if they've seen them, but aside from that, did you find anything? The yokai that took the villagers have been eradicated. You are here just in time to help us take the villagers back. Sure. Yes! Yes, sir! Really just yes, but felt like a yes, sir moment. Two young masters, Miss Xia, Miss Wu. Now that we don't have to do any of the real work and carry these uh, bodies back with us and we can just use the slaves to do that, let's go back on our own and lazily uh, wander our way. <sighs> Off we go! Brother Zhang, I'm sorry for once again being useless as I have been continuously on this entire journey and at no point learning just what a useless, naive piece of shit I am. Don't blame yourself too much in spite of the fact that it is entirely your fault. We're lucky that it didn't get worse in spite of your incompetence. I feel ashamed. But not enough to learn any lessons. Okay, off we go. Next time, <laughs> next time naivete will ruin our day, I'll be the naive one again. <laughs> huh? It's her spirit! Sister, time to go back! Oh, I'll be right over! Off we go! Not even gonna tell me what the thing was? No, okay... Oh, Shahu's back in the team! What the... <laughs> What? I'm moving with that on screen. That was weird. Oh, new title hint. Hooray. And Xia learned Return Spirit. Okay. Hey, we we get to move and save. Saving would be good. <laughs> we get to save. <laughs> we get to take a look at the map because we're back here again. Uh, I guess I don't really have anything to do, do I? So I can just go... Uh, be, uh, you. There we go. <laughs> Gotta make sure I got my team put together right, and you can go be on the sideline like the loser you are. I don't think I have any reason to buy anything, so I am just going to assume that I don't. <laughs> I already bought things in this town. Surely that's good enough. Oh, that, well, that's all we got of not cutscene. Time for cutscene. <laughs> We got, like, a minute, almost, of not cutscene! Young Lord Xiao, would you like to take a rest in your room? You must have reached your limit since you are incompetent and have no useful skills. Uh, don't push yourself too hard. Taking a rest is good for you. I'm not as weak as that. You should go report to Uncle Yang about the events at Snow Rock, Tra <coughs> Snow Rock Trail. Miss Xia, Miss Mu, 
You two did... You Yeah, you two were great help for us. Would you like to meet the master with us? Huh? Meet the president of the martial arts world? No, no thanks. I'm afraid I'll forget how to speak meeting such a famous man. You literally just have to stand in the audience. <laughs> I'll pass to. Then young Lord Huang Fu and I will report. Goodbye. Huang Fu, Young Lord Huang Fu, please. Mm. Off they go. No, no, he's gonna leave our party. No. <laughs> Today's events were dangerous, but not enough to threaten our lives. We survived two nuclear bombs. <laughs> However, we still don't know what that sword light was about. The Shu Mountain Clan mentioned by little brother Jiang. What clan is it? Uh, the Shu Mountain Clan. Weren't you paying attention? All I know is that it's for people to ascend to demigods. I'm not sure about anything else. Dot, dot, dot. Why did I meet Miss Xia in the Illusion Land? Being... Where, oh, the, the, another nuke! Wow, this is the third nuclear bomb of the day! These are some unlucky people! Oh, this, this is a replay of the same com Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just remembering that conversation. Okay. So it wasn't even their third nuke of the day, because uh, he was also just remembering the nuke. <laughs> Stop thinking. In addition, that was not the real Miss Xia. But how can I know that she's the real Miss Xia? Is anyone truly the world real <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's just... I've always looked at her as a party member, but now taking a close look, she's quite a cute girl. Mmm, she's a lesbian. That is well established. You are barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> Little Lord! Whoa, what the... <laughs> wow. <laughs> but brothers here... Snuck up on ya! <laughs> Look at how skittish you are. I'm not gonna eat you. Or eh, maybe I will, I don't know. I heard that you killed a yokai outside. Why didn't you take me with you? I love eating yokai. Who knows where you went? Oh! Oh, there's, yep, yeah, hear that sound? That's the shockwave from the nuclear ball. <laughs> What's that sound? It sounds like a shockwave from a nuclear bomb. <laughs> uh. Up. Oh, well, yeah, up is where you would see, um, high. Um. <laughs> Great, like you really stuck the landing there. 10 out of 10 work sticking the landing. I like your giant paintbrush. It really uh, adds to how uh, dramatic a figure you are that you carry a giant paintbrush with you. There's quite some snow here, but not as much as on the mountain. Ha <laughs> Older brother, you can use your force to fend off the cold. Yes, I did give them the same voice. No, I don't regret that. <laughs> Illusion Queen points out that our protagonist's main weapon is a brush. So this is just like the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the compensating version of our protagonist's main weapon. <laughs> Oh, you have a brush? I have a brush, too. Haha, <laughs> the blizzard was heavier on the mountain. The cold here is nothing compared to that. 
Uh, if you could not just break in, but maybe actually announce yourself. I mean, I know you have amazing powers, but just out of general courtesy. Gentlemen, we are apprentices from the Shoe Mountain Clan. We're here to congratulate President Oyang. Please inform the president. Your shoe mouse towers, welcome! I'll report immediately! Let me walk- I'll report immediately, by which I mean I'll walk as slowly as any human being could possibly walk. They flew here! Sister Moo, did I see it right? Joe in chat points out that a giant brush like that is totally useless without a giant ink pot anyway. Yes, that's the sword control skill Shoe Mountain is famous for. Sword surfing, sword surfing, sword surfing! We just made ourselves an 80s action... something? Wow, this Shoe Mountain clan is amazing! Dot dot dot. They just further demonstrate how I have no useful skills and no business being the protagonist of this video game. The Shu Mountain Clan has formed over a few hundred years. They're the best even among clans that focus on ascension. They're familiar with sword control and use that to kill yokai and demon. They're hailed by everyone. Kill yokai and demons! So they did help us kill the yokai woman! It's possible. From their conversation, it sounds like they wasted some time on the Snow Rock Trail. Oh, that, uh, that. Uh. Two towers, the master welcomes you inside! Oh. <laughs> Hi, we're the protagonists. Oh, you're actually gonna talk to us. No, you're not. You're just gonna dot 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 at us. Ah! Uh. Dot dot dot. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! They recognize him. Dot dot dot! Older brother, let's go inside! Yeah, yeah! Okay! Or fine, fine! Whoa! Whoa! God, it's so great that they've got these doors that you just like stand next to them and teleport inside. I wanted to ask if they killed the Yokai woman. They're here for the Sword Appraisal Conference. You'll probably have another chance. Young Lord Xiao, we agreed that you'd pay, ex uh, pay extra for protecting you outside the manor. What do you think? Of course I'll pay. I'm the most naive person on earth. Thanks, young lord. Oh, what, Miss Moo? Did you call me? Because his name is Xie. Xie means thanks. She said thanks, young lord. It's like she said young lord Xie. Puns upon puns upon puns. Boy, she is staring intently at his shoulder. She is so interested in his shoulder. Is it because you just got your payment so you'd like to treat us to a big meal? Of course I'd take such a kind offer. Here again, how could there be such a shameless man who would use his, even his own name to get a free meal? <laughs> Miss Moo, 
Maybe he made, like, maybe that's not his name. Maybe he made that name for himself just for this pun. Some pun issues, apparently, but Brother Cher is bold enough to call you, uh, yeah, is bold enough to call yourself a young lord with such a noble look. <laughs> then I shall call, call myself young lord. Or female lord, different word, blah, blah, blah. Dot, dot, dot from somebody else. Dot, dot, dot some more. Young Lord Xiaohou, Sister Xia, now that the business is finished, I'll go back to my hotel to rest. Maybe Xia would like to come with me. Hehehe. <laughs> Well, I'll go back to my room, too, by which I definitely don't mean I'll go to Moo's room and have sex with her. A lot happened today. I'm sleepy now. Bye. Still didn't find my wallet, huh? <laughs> oh, Sister Xia, the true wallet is the wallet in our hearts. Miss Xia, thanks for your help. Here's your payment. <laughs> I don't want it. I volunteered to help with the search. How could I take a payment? Anyway, thank you! Off she goes to Moo's hotel room. Dot, dot, dot. I wasn't even there, but I'll take a payment. Are you in love? You shouldn't be, because she's been established to be a lesbian by this point. I... Haha, <laughs> young lord is that age. I understand. I understand. Bye! Looks like the, uh, this year there's no serious competition here either. Very boring. No, Brother Xie, listen to me. Uh... I'm as useless as always. Boy, I'm persistently useless in absolutely everything that I do. And Xia left the team. And hey, Jung left the team, just like we always wanted him to do. And Mu left the team. This <laughs> is just everybody leaving the team. Bye, Huang Fu. Oh, mysterious letter, great. What? I clicked. I think I got three mysterious letters there. Okay. <laughs> it could have just said received three mysterious letters, but apparently not. Now, don't I don't touch WASD, don't click anywhere. There are endless cutscenes everywhere. If you if you do things, then endless cutscenes happen. So I'm going to very carefully save the game. And then I'm done. <laughs> Until next time, until th well, actually, let's take one quick peek. Uh, uh, we beat 10%. We're, we're past the 10% mark for next time. Until then, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, tell me what other obscure games you'd like to see me play in the comments below. Cheers from Y'all Weasel and DC.